Hey guys, welcome to the channel and the video. This is KMZ and I have a Switch tutorial for you here today. In this one, I'm going to show you guys how to update Atmosphere, Hecate, Cheats, Sig Patches, and for those that use the Deep Sea all-in-one, how you can update Deep Sea and do all of this stuff directly from your Switch. So technically, really, you don't even need a PC or a phone or anything else. We do need to set up one homebrew, but then after that, you won't need to get that homebrew again, so you can do everything right from your Switch. The people who will benefit most from this are the ones who use Hecate to launch Atmosphere. So whether you use Hecate by itself, or if you use Deep Sea or Cosmos or one of those all-in-one package type deals that use Hecate to launch Atmosphere, then you are going to benefit the most from this tutorial because you'll be able to update all of this stuff from your Switch. Those of you who just use plain Jane Vanilla Atmosphere, then you can still watch because I'm going to show you how we can update a couple of things that might be beneficial to you right from your Switch, such as cheats and SIG patches, all from the same homebrew. And that homebrew that we'll be using here today is the AIO Switch Updater. Also, your Switch does need to have an internet connection to pretty much to be able to do all of the stuff that we're going to be covering here. This tutorial is not a tutorial that will show you how to jailbreak your Switch. It is automatically assumed that you already have a modded system and that you also have the basic knowledge on how to use your modded Switch and how to navigate around it and all that good stuff. I will not be explaining how to install any homebrews or how to get into your homebrew menu, things like that, all of that basic stuff. I'm assuming you already have that. Now, at the same time I'm releasing this video, I'm also going to release another video that shows you how to download and install official firmware updates on your Switch using only your Switch and without making a connection to the Nintendo servers, without having to change anything in your DNS settings, everything is done right from your Switch. And it's a good idea that your Hecate, your Atmosphere, and your SIG patches are all updated to versions that are compatible with the firmware that you are going to install. So this video can also serve kind of like as a prep for you to get those three things ready in order to accept the newer firmware that you are trying to install. So I'll put a link to that video down in the description. And with that, let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, guys, so as I mentioned earlier, we will need to get the AIO switch updater. You can navigate here to the GitHub. The link will be down in the description. Unfortunately, as of the making of this video, it is not yet available on the Homebrew App Store. If it ever does become available there, you'll be able to download it straight from your switch and install it right from there. So it will make life even a bit easier. But for now, just grab the latest release. Now, before we do that, I want to mention that this is a fantastic fantastic homebrew. Anyone with a modded switch should have this installed. It has a lot of very useful features and options. The first ever review video that I plan on doing is going to be on this homebrew. At least that's the plan. And I also plan on doing at least two more tutorials regarding the homebrew itself. For now, let's head on over to the releases. You need to get the latest zip. You don't need these JSON files for now unless you plan on messing with them. The instructions and what they're for and stuff like that are back on the main page. And the tutorials that I do in the future will cover these two files and what you will be able to do with them. But for now, you only need the zip. Go ahead and download that. I'll meet you back at my desktop. All right, so once you have that AIO switch updater zip file, go ahead, grab that switch folder that's inside the zip, extract it. You can look in the folder if you want to. You can see the AIO switch updater folder is there along with the NRO file, but don't mess with anything. Leave everything just the way it is. Copy and paste this folder onto the root of your SD card. Again, it's assumed you have basic knowledge on how to do this stuff. So whether you do it via FTP or however other method you use in order to get files on your SD card, do that now. Just copy and paste it onto the root of the card. 
All right, guys, so here we are at my homebrew menu. Before we begin with the AIO switch updater, for those of you who have deep C, you can update a couple of different ways. The first one is you can use the deep C updater, but fair warning, if you have a SD card that is formatted to XFAT, there is a chance of corruption if you update using this method. Now, when you go into the deep sea updater, it will give you a reminder A big screen will pop up and it will tell you that you risk corruption if your SD card isn't formatted to FAT32. So if it is formatted to FAT32, you can update your deep sea using this method. It'll update Atmosphere, Hecate, and any other uh, homebrews that need updating. Just make sure that the latest Hecate and Atmosphere are there and that they are compatible with the firmware you are planning to install if you are planning to install a firmware or update your official firmware. You would have to double check that. The best way to do it is just to go to the Deep Sea GitHub page. I'll put a link down in the description just to confirm that the latest Hackety and Atmosphere are there. Let's head on over now to the AIO switch updater. And you will see here at the top, we're gonna head into the update atmosphere section. All right, so you can see here that we have a few options as of right now. Those of you using Deep Sea, you can also update your Deep Sea right from here. So this is yet another option you have available. If you pick Deep Sea Minimal, that will update Hecate, Atmosphere, and maybe one or two other things. The regular Deep Sea is the full version that updates Hecate, Atmosphere, and any other homebrews that need updating. Every single thing that I said in the deep sea updater part just a minute ago, that applies here. So if you need to rewind and listen to all of that again, make sure you do because it's the same thing if you plan on using either the minimal or the full version here to update your deep sea. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to update right now Atmosphere and Hecate at the same time. You have these two versions of Atmosphere here. They're both pretty much the same. However, the top one does come with Mesosphere. This is something I've talked about before in the past. I'm going to do a video on this at some point. It's kind of a re-implementation of the switches kernel. It will eventually become the standard, but because it's fairly new and even though it hasn't caused any issues, it's kind of in its quote unquote experimental phase, I would recommend getting the without Mesosphere version. This is regular atmosphere. It too comes with the latest homebrew launcher and homebrew menu. All of your homebrews are going to work the same and you're not going to be missing out on anything but that's just my recommendation it's really up to you which version you want to use this is for anyone who uses hecate to launch atmosphere if you use cosmos even if you use deep sea this is yet another way for you deep sea users to update hecate and atmosphere and that's how i do it i have deep sea i even have an older version of deep sea which is one 0.9.1. I updated my atmosphere, Hecate, and SIG patches all independently. And then afterwards, I updated to the latest official firmware. And guess what? Everything in my deep sea works perfectly fine. All of my homebrews and everything works despite the fact that I have an older version. So for everyone using Hecate and atmosphere, let's go ahead and let's proceed. I'm going to select without mesosphere. All right, and this is going to get the latest atmosphere right from the atmosphere GitHub. So let's select continue. And it's gonna download. Now, sometimes it might get stuck for a few seconds, but that's fine because it's downloading and it's unzipping and installing everything. So just let it do its thing. Here, you're just going to hit yes, always. And you don't have to worry, those of you that use Hecate, if you've modified your Hecate IPL.ini file or whatever it's called, it's going to stay intact. It will not override it. All right, and once it's done, at this point, it's going to ask you if you want to update to the latest Hecate, and here you can say yes as well. Once again, it's going to ask you if you want to override the .ini file, you can go ahead and say yes. It will not override the Hecate IPL.ini. So if you've modified that one on your own, you don't have to worry. It's not going to mess it up. Now, at this point, when it's done, it's going to tell you that the switch will reboot. You could go ahead and hit continue and it will reboot into Hecate, or at least it should. 
Now, at this point, when I do this, my Elgato will stop recording because it only records when I'm in the actual firmware or in custom firmware, it will not record Hecate. So I'm gonna go ahead, reboot back to my Switch, and then I'll be right back. All right guys, so we're back here at my Switch. Now, when I started the video, you may have already noticed that I was on the latest atmosphere, but I did all this stuff all over again just so that you can see the process. I am on Atmosphere 17.0, which is the most current one as of right now. Now, my firmware is a little bit older, it's 10.2, but in that how to update your firmware video that I did, I'm updating to the latest current firmware. But of course, I did all of this first. Now, one reminder here, if you use Hecate to launch Atmosphere, don't forget you may have to rename that bin file. I use a dongle that will launch or inject any payload as long as it's renamed payload.bin and it's on the root of the SD card. So this payload.bin file is my old Hackatee. I'm gonna delete it. And by the way, in my case, I can do all of this right from the switch. I can just go into a file manager like NX shell, delete the old payload, and then rename the new Hackatee into payload.bin. But I'm just doing it here so you can see uh, for the purposes of the tutorial, there we go. All right, and that's it, I'm good to go. Now, some dongles like the RCM loader require you to take this payload bin and put it into the dongle itself. So however it is, you launch Hackety, just don't forget that file is there and go ahead and take care of that. Let's go back into AIO switch updater and wrap up the video. All right, so here back at the all-in-one switch updater, if you plan in the future on updating the firmware of your switch, the only thing else you need to make sure that you update ahead of time is of course the SIG patches. If you're using plain Jane vanilla atmosphere, then you're gonna select Fusey because you're injecting the Fusey primary bin file yourself. If you're using anything else, whether it's just regular Hackety or you're using Deep Sea, Cosmos or whatever, then you're going to pick Hecate. Make sure that the SIG patches match the version of Atmosphere that you just installed or updated to. And in this case, you can see that these are designed for use with Atmosphere 17.0, which is what I just updated to. So we're good to go there. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the Hecate one real quick since I use Deep Sea, and then we're going to continue. You're going to get prompted here real quick if you want to override the Hecate IPL any file. If you are using Deep Sea, Cosmos, or any other one of those all-in-one package type deals, just select no because they come with their own Hecate IPL any file. If you just use regular Hecate and you haven't edited that file on your own, then you can hit yes. It's just going to replace it with the same stock one. But again, if you use Deep Sea, Cosmos, or anything like that, just select no. So I use Deep Sea. I'm going to pick no. And then that's it. You're all done. So let's go ahead and go back. You don't even need to reboot. Now, the only other thing here that I'm going to mention that is totally optional are cheats. This gets the cheats directly from GBA temp. It's a thread where the cheats are updated pretty much every single day. It will download and install the cheats for you. So it's ultra convenient, but it will only do so for the games that you have installed in your system. So it will not download cheats for games that you don't have installed. Plus the region and the game ID must match in order to be able to use the cheats. And naturally not every single game is going to have cheats available. And that is going to do it for this video, guys. And don't forget, guys, in case you haven't watched it yet, check out the video on how to update the firmware on your Switch. I show you how to do it right from your Switch, super easy, using this Switch updater as well as Daybreak. So, you know, I appreciate you watching. And if you found anything here helpful, informative, useful, or you just want to throw some love or appreciation towards the channel, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Maybe hit the notification bell as well. Not only will you be notified when I put up a video, you You'll also get notified when I put something up in the YouTube community post. Sometimes there's some big news that comes out and I want you to get the news before I'm able to make a video for it. And that's how I do it. Or just some other informative stuff that comes up. That way you can get that information faster. Much love going out to everyone out there. Be careful, be safe, but have fun and we will catch you on the next one.